My sons, my strength is waning now. My journey has ended here. Listen carefully. I leave to you all, but especially to you, Obro, the duty of carrying out that mission our people entrusted to me. On the other side of that mountain lies Metropolis, the city which has attained a terrifying civilization. You are to go and say to its ruler and to its people, that they are wrong. They should never use their knowledge of science to defeat the ends of nature, to sow destruction and death. They shouldn't try to change the natural order. Otherwise, nature will have her revenge on them. They are challenging forces they cannot control. If they continue, we'll have a tremendous disaster. <gasps> my friends, let's go on. Don't move! You'll have to go on with only your brothers now. We are turning back. You promised my father that you would follow him, and now you are going to follow me. 
Your father's death has released us from every obligation. My men are all exhausted and downhearted. I'm not going to make them run further risks. I've no intention of challenging the power of Metropolis. Farewell. Turn back, men! Yota, the results of our research in cosmic action have revealed that important astral movements are taking place right now. Consequently, it is advisable to postpone all of your experiments on your son Elmos for a while. Within two months, the conjunction of the stars will create favorable physiological conditions for the transplanting of a human brain. None of the other experiments need be postponed in the meantime. We are expecting the results of these to be positive. But do your expectations also extend to the case of Egon? The attempt to restore the body of Egon, the chief of our people to life, could not be postponed in any case even if cosmological conditions should prove to be unfavorable. Very well. Above all, I'm worried about the experiments on Elmos. He will be the first youth to have the wide experience and the accumulated wisdom that heretofore could be found only in the brain of an elderly man. the valley of Metropolis. As soon as they are within the radius of action, maneuver them into the magnetic traps. They are near enough now. You can set the controls. Stop! We have finally managed to arrest and to reverse the disintegration of cell structure. For two days now, Egan has been in a state of regeneration. And if our prognostications are scientifically correct, before long the great miracle will have been performed. He will be restored to life. Like all successes of science that have been achieved before, this also is due to the pitiful sacrifice of one of the humans we've kept under observation. He was a hundred years old. What does the sacrifice of a man matter when it serves to further the progress of science? 
Nothing. The people will be grateful to you for restoring to life one of their valorous leaders. Yotar, there is a stranger on the frontier of Metropolis who has survived the whirlwinds of death. How can that be possible? It's mysterious. I have given the order in your name to capture him alive. Can there be a blood stronger than our own? Perhaps we are confronting an entirely new force in the world surrounding us. I want to see him. As soon as he's captured, have this prodigy brought into the throne room. No, Elmos. You will still have to wait a little while longer. Then you can go outside. But I don't see why I have to stay here all alone. Why can't I go visit my mother and my sister? If you love me, Father, tell me, why do you keep me shut up in here always? Elmos, you are the sole heir to the throne of Metropolis, the continent more powerful than any in the world. Look there, that magnificent city you see is yours. The whole world is yours. Now listen to me. I have planned a glorious future for you. I shall give you eternal youth. And you will reign over the whole world forever and ever. A world that I know nothing of, and a city that I have never seen. What do they matter? Father, every night when I go to sleep, I dream of someone who's trying to kill me. I can feel his hands around my throat choking me. Father, please take me out of here. Please take me away. Yota, the stranger has been captured and brought to you. your knees when you face the great Yota, king of Metropolis. On your knees, he said. The king of Metropolis, you use science to murder people. I've seen an example with what you did to my brothers. On your knees. <sighs> you can force me to bow down, but you're not able to prevent me from saying what I have come here to say to you. My mission is to warn you that you are doomed by the terrible power you possess. And now destroy me if you like, Yota! Before you die, you will have bodily evidence of my power. No matter how much you torture me, you will suffer worse. Someday you will rule a city of the dead. 
You will reign over a wasteland. Your power is based on a criminal use of science. It will destroy you. You will die miserably. I will be destroyed. What can destroy me? Answer me that. No one is more powerful than I am. I have enslaved all the people on Earth. I've made them tremble just as you will. You'll feel your body and your mind disintegrating slowly, day by day, inexorably. Take him down into the quartz grotto. You're a madman, Yoka. Now I have achieved my purpose in life. I have seen with my own eyes the marvels of your civilization. And I am sure that you yourself will be the one who destroys what you have accomplished with your horrible crimes. Mark my words, Yota! It's necessary that we order the stranger to be put to death at once. His very presence here in Metropolis possibly could lead the scientists to entertain doubts as to the noble aims of our no. research. We have to let him live. I want to subject him to all our experiments of a physical and a scientific nature. If he is able to undergo these as well, then at last we will be able to create the perfect being. Now leave me, all of you. Why did you choose to remain behind? The stranger has told us the terrifying truth, Yotar. His entry into Metropolis has shown that your science can fail sometimes. And what if it should fail in the case of Elmos? But I won't permit you to go on with what you're doing. Elmos, our son should be returned to me. How can you be so cruel? I know those scientists will either destroy him or else they'll turn him into a monster. Texan, you are the queen only because I have made you the queen. Mesede, child of my first wife, your mother sacrificed herself because she had faith in me and in my scientific knowledge. I forbid you, as I did her, to oppose my will. Elmos will be immortal. He will be the first human being who will enjoy youth forever. And who will triumph over death. Don't either of you forget that. Now go. Father, for what reason did you send for me? Yotar, you are committing a great many errors. I beg you to stop before it is too late. These experiments of yours are only causing death and human suffering. I continue the work that you first undertook, Father, which has given Metropolis its advanced civilization. No, Yotar. I created this civilization and you are destroying it. As you took free will from the people, 
but not from me. My existence is prolonged artificially because you want to inject my brain cells into Elmos. It's monstrous of you. You will never succeed, my son. Why not let me die in peace? You shall stay alive for as long as I wish. Elmos will have perfection. He will never know childhood, but shall have a mind superior to any other. More than to the populace who have always shown me affection. I am grateful to the king who performed the feat of restoring me to life. All my joy is overclouded with apprehension for Elmos. But may heaven give me assistance in my endeavor to serve him. Stranger, at last you shall learn there is a strength mightier than yours. A living creature who will crush you and who will make you see that you are nothing. This 
night the full moon is our queen. After the ceremony, you will be joined together in a physical union. Your will and your intellect will remain unaware. Get away from me. Your mind is still as far as ever from reality. You are in my power. And I love you. No. You desire only to possess my body. And you want to destroy every vestige of my will. But I refuse to let you, Yota. I loathe you. I want you.
These are pygmies who rip off their victim's flesh with their teeth. Defend yourself. The molten core underneath the Earth's crust is tending to rise to the surface. New craters of volcanic origin will erupt through the outer layer and emit vast quantities of heavy vapor in the atmosphere. This much we can safely predict. I want to have a look. If we were to harness this energy, we could make Metropolis even more powerful. I'll question the old cave dweller. He may give me some explanation for such a phenomenon. How do you explain this strange phenomenon in the Earth? Yota, listen well to me. In the 200 years of my life, I have never seen the crater as active as it is now. Days of terror lie ahead of us. All the energy extracted up to now from the Earth's interior has put a strain on the shell which contains the force within it. Don't ask the Earth to withstand more than it was meant to. Or the day will not be far away when the Earth will exact a horrifying revenge. No. The same way science has been able to keep you alive for two centuries, it will be able to control any force unleashed by the powers of nature. When you came to Metropolis, you spoke of destruction only. Why? You predicted my downfall and the loss of my continent as well. You think you can make me afraid by acting like a messenger of doom? No, Yota. A messenger of hope. There is still time enough to save Metropolis. But you are blinded by ambition and cruelty. You will pay with your life for those words. I will destroy you without mercy. that presses on you. You are powerful, stranger. Stand up under it. <laughs> May 
Make a try. Make another try. Still alive. How can you explain his endurance? He is endowed with vitality above the ordinary. His blood is a rarity that should not be wasted. You are right. It is what I need for Elmos. He will have a better reaction when the brain is transplanted. be transfused into the body of Elmos. When is this inhuman deed to be perpetrated? Yota has decided. It will be some time tomorrow. We must act at once. There is someone in the corridor. Go look for a strong and trustworthy man. I shall provide one of my slaves. Why did you have me sent for at this time of night? Your father is about to commit a terrible crime, Miss Sadie. I know about it, but there's nothing I can do. You owe no more obedience to your father, Miss Sadie. We must both rebel against him. Even if you're not my own daughter, our common sorrow draws us together. Yotar is obsessed by his insane plan. Why, your own mother died as a result of the experiments the scientists performed on her. Yet she was willing to die for Yotar. My father is the greatest of kings. And he is superior to us all in strength of character. He's more intelligent than we. Neither you nor I should question the slightest word he says. His plans will lead to destruction only and the extermination of the people. Destiny has brought to Metropolis a stranger of a race superior to ours. Yotar, for the first time in his life, is afraid of a human being. He is the man who can save Metropolis. And my son, Elmos. We must set this man free. And you will have to help me, Miss Edith. No, it's impossible. Yotar is my own father. Even if he wanted to sacrifice me, I can't imagine opposing my father. I'm all alone. I've never had anyone else to love.
I'm setting you free and Yotar will begin to panic when he learns you're at large. And this will inevitably cause him to make some false move. Have him taken to the secret cave of the giants instantly. Go back to your post now, and no matter what happens, don't you breathe a word of this to anyone. Your orders have been carried out precisely. Metropolis is now covered by magnetic search ray. That stranger must not be allowed to escape. And he must be captured alive, too. Ah, where can he be hiding? He couldn't have escaped without help. Someone here is betraying us. responsible for the escape. He knows what the punishment is. Metropolis has no need of you. Take him away. Don't be afraid. You are safe here. Who are you? I am one of the few men surviving in Metropolis who are still in possession of their own free will. Why don't you rebel? Because my physical existence is artificial. No stranger. You are the one and only man able to restore the rights of liberty to our people. Because Yotar is afraid of your great strength. Is this the reason you wanted to free me? What can I do any more than the rest of you? With the scientific power Yotar has, he can prevent me from taking any action. I will arrange it so his powers cannot harm you. You will have to do away with all of the men who guard Yotar. The only ones in Metropolis. Capable of any fighting. No, that's impossible. There are too many of them. Without the protection of his personal bodyguard, I'm certain that Yotar will see that he must surrender. You can take them by surprise, one by one, in the open streets. No one but they are permitted to walk about the streets at night. I will point out all of the secret passages to you. No. I didn't come here to kill anyone. You have no other choice. Your own life is at stake as well. I shall return tomorrow night. Any clue yet as to the whereabouts of the stranger? No, Yotar. In spite of all our searching, we have found nothing yet. He must have had very powerful accomplices. I can't explain it any other way. From 
here you can get away safely. The passage I've led you through is known to no one but myself. Why have you never shown it to the people of Metropolis? Because the artificial existence imposed on them by Yota has deprived the whole of our people of any free will of their own. They are in no condition to resist or even to react to their situation. Before we can save them, we must first of all destroy the ruthless creatures who keep them in slavery. I think the time is propitious for you to begin your mission as a terrorist. What have you called me here for? The signs in the heavens are adverse to you. Don't try the experiment on your innocent son, Elmos. I have been told that the stranger has succeeded in making his escape. He will cause a great upheaval in Metropolis, Yota. He has the force that comes from nature. The stranger will be killed, I tell you. And so will all the traitors around us. No one can oppose my will. slave girls. She was caught while she was with a stranger. She let herself be killed so he could get away. Even if she's in anguish over Elmos, the queen would never dream of turning traitor. Texan. Texan. Shouting, losing your head with fear, trembling. For the first time in my life, I see you trembling, Yota. Where have you hidden the stranger? Speak! Look for him. Where is the stranger? Answer me, you traitor! He's everywhere around you. And to you, he's invisible. But when you see him face to face, it will be your final day. You thought your treachery would mean my death, but I'll kill you. You won't have the satisfaction of killing me. For all the evil you have done to me and to my poor little son, Elmos. For all the suffering you brought on the people. I put a dying curse on you, Yota. I put my dying curse on you. The poison 
was swift. She's dead. <gasps> Bring her back! Don't be afraid. No one will find you here. Why were you running away? Because... Because... Texan... What has happened to Texan? Lota has driven her to suicide. I will avenge her death. I'm afraid. I'm so afraid. He wants me to die. He'll kill me. Oh, please help me. <laughs> this situation has never been recorded before. And of such importance that we must tell the king at once. And it will not be easy to tell him. Why are you afraid to talk? Why doesn't one of you speak up? Yota, unforeseen developments in the orbiting of the planets have upset in a most serious manner the normal equilibrium of the forces of the interplanetary scale. As a consequence, the entire solar system will be drastically changed. Among the effects of these terrifying changes, the axis of the Earth will shift 90 degrees in another direction. The Earth will be shaken by a series of violent earthquakes. The oceans will overflow their shores, submerging whole continents. Metropolis, basing its existence and its great power on the energy extracted from the very center of the Earth itself, is condemned to disappear. The blazing furnace over which we have built our city will be fatal. Metropolis cannot possibly be destroyed. You must discover some way of preventing this catastrophe from affecting the continent we live on. Yota, it would be better to emigrate from here to higher ground. No! But we can always construct a new and better metropolis. You must be out of your mind. The stranger is responsible for all of you doubting yourselves. You haven't any more faith in the power we can wield with our science. We must know enough now to save metropolis. And I order you to save her. Now listen carefully. The stranger is sure to make an attempt to commit another of his repeated acts of terrorism. This door is the only way into the palace. Yotar wants him taken alive. Follow me.
guard has been heavily reinforced. Now I will show you the way into the Hall of Arts and Sciences. Kill the guards there without mercy. They are all monsters. Afterwards, you can make your way back to the hiding place through the secret passage. These continual acts of terrorism which the stranger is committing must be brought to an end. The fact that my daughter Mercedes is with him should have no influence on any action you take. And it is the capture of the pair of them that I am now ordering. Every night you risk your life, and it's all to no purpose. Your struggle is in vain. There's no force in the world able to overthrow the laws of Yotal. Leave me alone. Even after running away, you're under the influence of your father. No, I don't feel it when you're here. When you're away. Whenever you go out and leave me all alone. You can't imagine how I have to struggle against the desire to leave. Because your heart is empty. Elmus and the people are suffering. But that has no effect on your selfishness. You're worthy of your father. Your soul is dead. Oh, no, don't say such a thing. It isn't true. <sighs> That's what I wanted to hear. Your despair proves that you're still alive. And that you can still look forward to tomorrow. 
Tomorrow. How do you think I could have any idea of the meaning of this word? For in my position, I was unaware of the future. I only wanted to conform. But now I want to live. I love you, Mercedes. You're made like I am. Show me what it is to live, Aubrey. There's nothing else to tell you. You know all about it now. That doesn't matter. It gives me a wonderful feeling to hear you describe it. Hmm. You can't imagine how wonderful life is in my land. The men are proud and free. They respect each other and help each other. And women and children? When a woman and a man are in love with each other, no one forbids them to share their lives. When a child is born of their love, it grows up happy and carefree. Is this true, even if your king doesn't want it? Our king has no power over these things. We obey the laws of another, a superior being. His is the only law that governs two people in love. Please take me away, Obro. Please take me to live with your people. Help me learn all there is to know in that marvelous world. I will, Mercedes. I promise you. scientists of Metropolis to provide the ultimate proof of your power. We are prepared. We will begin as soon as you give us the order. This is the moment I've waited for. Now I must decide. Life or death for my son. The perfect physical condition which Elmas enjoys will permit us to perform this great experiment. Are you sure we'll succeed? Only the force of inscrutable fate is powerful enough to overthrow the inflexible laws of science. Then leave me alone with Elmos. It's best that I have a talk with him first. of here, once and for all. Oh, at last, Father. I can go and see my mother and my sister, and I'll go and see Grandfather and have him tell me some of these fables. We are witnessing a memorable day for Metropolis. Go in peace to the world of shades, venerable father of Yotar. Your death will mean the joy of eternal youth for Elmos, our future king. Go with them now, Elmos. Aren't you coming too, Father? I will come later. I want you to go first. Well, don't be long. I'll be waiting for you. That depends on many circumstances. We begin the operation with a treatment of energy from radiation, which highly accelerates the reproductive rhythm of living cell structure. Inform the people of this great event.
miraculous, you know. If Egon had never taken you through the secret passage that leads here, I would never have been able to see such a sky as this. And all these flowers. It's beautiful. There's no one in Metropolis who's ever seen the sky when it was blue. It's the fault of our scientists. Whatever they do, the atmosphere is strangely discolored. None of the achievements of the scientists of Metropolis is of use. There isn't a single thing they do that is for the good of humanity. Let's not think about it. Look around, Mercedes. It's magnificent. I love you, Obro. Stay with me forever. Why, that's the signal. They sounded when something terribly important has happened. phenomenon foreseen by the astronomers is taking it place. It is due to an increase in subterranean temperature inside the volcano. The Earth is exuding heavy vapors. Soon we'll have the first of the earthquakes. We must hurry. What do you want, Egon? I'm worried about Elmos's safety. Why do you want to risk the life of your own son? Elmos is not going to die. Yotai, you are suffering. I see that even you are human. And your heart pounds with fear for your son. You are no longer so sure of the power of science. How dare you speak in this manner to your king? Remember that it was I who brought you back to life. But as I made you live, I'll destroy you. You are unable to frighten me anymore. It is you who fear the stranger. You have searched in vain for the one who helped him get away. Well, I was the one who did it. And you shall die again, Egon. Why do you go on talking about death? You can kill Yotar and destroy, but you are about to see the day when you will realize the enormous power of creation, and vanquishing that is impossible. to increase the energy of radiation. I wonder where Egon is. He should have returned by now. Don't worry about him. He'll come. I can't wait here doing nothing. He must be in grave danger. I'm going to help him. Obro. Obro, I'm afraid for you. I'm coming with you. No, you stay here. And don't worry. Your reign 
reign is coming to an end. Your star is setting in disgrace and utter ruin. Only the sun will rise again after the catastrophe overwhelms the world. The wrath of nature will punish you for your crimes. Father! Don't torment your son in this way. Science has taken your life from you. But your mind will continue to live on in Elmos. And you too shall know immortality. Yotar. Yotar! A mysterious force dominates the universe. It lies far beyond the scope of any human mind. It shall remain impenetrable. The power of death shall never be vanquished. Father! 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 Don't abandon me! Father! Yotar! Yotar! You are mad! You are mad. You are speaking to a shadow. You wanted to make all time come to a halt. But you are nothing. Nothing! And yet you want to condemn your whole people to destruction. No! Metropolis will never be destroyed, I tell you. You know that it's the truth. And your own madness is what prevents you from accepting it. So I have to kill you. Only with your death can the people recover their liberty and safety. Guards! Your guards can't help you now. You're alone now. you to save our people. Arrest them! for condemned criminals. Listen, hear the voice of experience and the wisdom given to great age. Allow your beloved son to live out his childhood like any other boy. Nothing can replace the joys of our carefree years. Send the operation. Send for the king.
Yota, the experiment had entered the last phase when the energy of the radiation from nuclear particles lessened in intensity. As a result, Elmas's heartbeat has become weak. His life may be in danger. Elmas. See the sky now, Elmos. Are you happy? Yes, Father. It's beautiful. But why is there so much fire in it? I remember it used to be different. Why does the sky have to be so red? Father, let me see it on the side looking toward the sea. I thought that you were captured, but I couldn't help doing what I did. I couldn't stand by and let you kill my own father. Don't say that, Miss Sadie. It's not the fault of anyone. Just try to be courageous. Be courageous? Because of you, yes. And it doesn't matter if Yotar puts us both to death. He won't have enough time. We will all be killed in the catastrophe. It'll happen any minute now. The course of every life is written in the skies. And we are in the hands of the superior being who guides the footsteps of man. Oh, bro, no one has ever spoken to me of the superior being. You were the first to tell me. But if it was he who made me love you and you love me, I'm thankful. Perhaps before we are destroyed, Yotar will realize he has been mistaken. He's not evil. He's only blinded by science. We must forgive him, Mercedes. I've already forgiven him. I have only one regret that I will never have a child. I wanted so to have a son in your land. Miss Sadie. We could have watched him grow up free and strong, like you. That was my dream. But if it's not to be, it doesn't matter. We still have each other. That's Miss Sadie's voice I hear. That's all I care about. Where is she? Father, please, let me see her again. Yota, the people are becoming unruly. The magnetic rays no longer function. The sea is overflowing every barrier and will soon reach this level. Save yourself. You still may have enough time. No. For me, it no longer matters. But I want you to save Elmos. No! No! Father! Father, don't take One me moment. away! Save the lives of Mercedes and the stranger.
I tried to overthrow the forces of nature, and nature has humbled me in the dust. Now nature has defeated me! Egon showed me.
never go this far You touch my hand and start the car And for the first time in my life I'm crying Are we in space? Do we belong? Some place where no one calls us wrong And like the stars we burn away The miles Did we 